Maloney here is citing G.K. Chesterton. And which book is she citing? She's citing the exact book that I recommended to my kids a week ago. It's G.K. Chesterton, Heretics. And here is the full quote for you. All right. G.K. Chesterton says, We who are Christians never knew the great philosophic common sense which inheres in that mystery until the anti-Christian writers pointed it out to us. Are you aware, by the way, G.K. Chesterton just talked about the anti-Christian writers. Are you aware that we are living in a time of anti-Christian influence? We call it post-Christian. We call it post-gospel, post-Catholic, post-modern, but it's also anti-Christian, anti-Christ. And this is why I've written a new book, Antichrist and Apocalypse. It debuted as a number one new release in Christian New Testament commentaries, and I'm very happy about that. A big thanks to the launch team. All right, Kennedy Hall's here. Oh, my Italian heart beats strong today, says Italian. That's great. Anyway, this new book, I give the first half of this book, first part of this book, is a detailed description of what Antichrist and Antichristian means. Not what I think it means, what the church fathers say, the popes, right? Uh, the scholastics, Aquinas, Robert Bellarmine. This is the Catholic take on things. Okay, so moving on here with G.K. Chesterton, he says, the great march of mental destruction will go on. I love that term, G.K., mental destruction. Everything will be denied. Everything will become a creed. It is reasonable position to deny the stones in the street. It will be a religious dogma to assert them. It is rational thesis that we are all in a dream. It will be a mystical sanity to say that we are all awake. Fires will be kindled to testify that two plus two make four. Swords will be drawn to prove that leaves are green in summer. We shall be left defending not only the incredible virtues and sanities of human life, but something more incredible still, this huge impossible universe which stares us in the face. We shall fight for visible prodigies as if they were invisible. We shall look on the impossible grass in the skies with a strange courage. We shall be of those who have seen and yet have believed. G.K. Chesterton. Powerful. And that's why I was so pumped to see Georgia Maloney, the new far-right neo-fascist, they are saying, PM of Italy. And I like that she's tuned in to G.K. Chesterton. We are having to defend the basics. I'm having to teach. I'm having to tell my teenage kids about people in the university, in high school systems, and in workplaces that say there's no such thing as a woman. And how it is that we as human persons and as Catholics say there's a man and a woman. Did any parent in the history of mankind from Adam and Eve forward ever have to explain and defend this to make sure their kids know this as teenagers. Not that my kids doubt it. I'm just saying, as a dad, it's my responsibility to make sure they know what's what. We are now in that time that G.K. Chesterton prophesied. And it's crazy. 